All right, hello and welcome to 11.1, Exploring Cylinders. And if you're following along in your textbooks, page 372 is where you go to. If not, just follow along and take notes. And the goal is to explore the relationship between the dimensions of a cylinder and the dimensions of its net. All right, so let's take a look here. All right. Maria and Benjamin are playing a game at their school math fair. They are shown a lid for a cylindrical container and four labels. To win a prize, they have to choose a label that matches the lid. They can ignore any overlap on the label. All right, so here's the uh, here would be the container. All right, so the lid, base, or the top of the cylinder, uh, and these are the four labels. So which one of these labels would fit on a container with this being the base or the top? How can you use the size of the lid to predict the width of the label? So first, take a look at this. Communication tip says the curved side of the cylinder has the height and width. So curved side of the cylinder has the width and the height. So if we were to unroll this, the circumference of the top or the bottom would be the length or the width, sorry, the width of this, and you're already given the length. All right, so when the curved side is enrolled into a rectangle, the height of the cylinder becomes the length of the rectangle. So we need to determine this cir the circumference, and we have to see what the height is. All right, now you're given all of the dimensions here. So you're given height, you're given, sorry, given length, and you're given width on all of these. So we need to determine what the circumference of this is. So plus this out. So now perimeter equals, so P equals pi times the diameter. That's what I like to use because it's easy. Okay, so perimeter equals pi. 3 times 1, 4 times the diameter, 4.2 times 2 is 8.4. Okay, so now we bust out my handy dandy calculator that you can't see right now, but I'm using a calculator right now. And 3.14 times 8.4 equals 26. Point three seven six or twenty six point four. So, what is the label that can be used for this top right here? Label C twenty six point four because that is the circumference of this circle. So, if we make a cylinder. This will be this, this will be the top or the bottom, and this will be the net flattened out. All right, so that's all we need to talk about here. Very short, very simple. Hope you take some notes. Uh, you better take some notes because I'll be checking them. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.